Box and Whiskers Plotting on the Graphing Calculator A box and whiskers plot is a graphical representation of a data set. This representation gives key values graphically rather than numerically. In this video we'll learn how to create a box and whiskers plot or box plot on the graphing calculator. We will also use the plot to interpret the data. In a box and whiskers plot, the lowest value is the tip of the left whisker. The highest value is the tip of the right whisker. The center of the box is the median or middle value of the data set. The median of the lower half of the data is the lower edge of the box where the left whisker starts. This is the lower quartile boundary. The median of the upper half of the data is the upper edge of the box where the right whisker starts. This is the upper quartile boundary. In this way, the box and whiskers plot separates the data into four quarters, what we call quartiles. The first or lower quartile is the left whisker representing the lowest quarter or lowest 25% of the data. The left half of the box represents the next 25% of the data and is called the second quartile. The right half of the box represents the next 25% of the data and is called the third quartile. And finally, the right whisker represents the highest quartile or the upper quartile or fourth quartile. The box itself or the second and third quartile together is called the inner quartile range. In short, the use of quartiles is similar to the use of median but with the advantage of providing more detail. Quartiles are used in rankings, academic or class ranking, test scoring, identification of top job candidates, and many other uses in comparing and evaluating data or candidates. We will use the graph and calculator to draw and evaluate a box and whisker plot using this set of data. It looks like maybe they could be test scores. We turn on the calculator and first press the STAT key, then choose Edit by pressing Enter. We enter all the data from this list under L1 by entering each number, then pressing Enter. Scroll back to the top to be sure all the data are entered properly. We could have used this data to manually draw a box and whiskers plot, but with the data here in L1, we can have the calculator draw it for us. We start by, press, by plotting the plotting process by pressing the second key, then press the Y equals key, which accesses the stat plot menu. Press enter. If the plot is turned off, arrow once to the left and press enter to turn it on. With plot one turned on, arrow down once to adjust the type. Now press the right arrow until you come to the box plot view in the center of the bottom row. Press enter. Now make your plot by pressing zoom, scroll down to nine, which is zoom stat, and press enter. We can start evaluating the box and whiskers plot by pressing trace. We start out at the center of the box, our, our median is 76. Pressing the right arrow once gives us to, gets us to the right edge of the box, the boundary between the third and fourth quartiles. We see that the value at that boundary is 81.5. When we press once more to the right, we get to the edge of the data, the maximum or high extremity, and that highest value is 93. Now we can explore the far left or minimum value by pressing the left arrow key four times. We see that the minimum value is 58. To get the boundary of the first and second quartile, we press the right arrow once. This boundary value is 70.5. Note how on the graph the distance represented by the box or second and third quartiles together is about the same as the first quartile, which is the left whisker, and also the fourth quartile, which is the right whisker. Often, data look like this with most of the data packed closer to the center, while there are fewer data points at the extremities of the data. Let's look at the 12 values and place them according to their quartile. And here they are. This has been Box and Whiskers Plotting on the Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.